Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're continuing our discussion around DP level transmitters. Now the last video we focused on how we use both gauge pressure transmitters and DP transmitters in order to uh, obtain a level measurement in various applications. Today we're gonna focus on how we actually connect those pressure transmitters to the vessels. Traditionally, this was done with something called a dry leg or a wet leg, and they were quite literally uh, piping that connected our DP transmitter back to the vessel. Now, in both these examples here, this is a, a, where we have a pressurized vapor space and we need to account for that vapor pressure. So you can do this in one of two ways, a wet leg or a dry leg. A dry leg, as the name implies, is we would keep uh, that leg or that impulse piping from the low side of the transmitter to that top of that vessel empty. The wet leg, as the name implies, we would keep it full of you know, condensed fluid. And the reason we would do one versus another is typically a wet leg would be used in applications that have, tend to condense uh, and dry legs would, wouldn't be used in applications where we don't have those issues. So maybe steam applications for wet legs and then maybe just uh, you know, simple uh, applications that aren't heated for a dry leg. The challenge with this is keeping a wet leg wet and keeping a dry leg dry. We'll see evaporation effects occurring in the wet leg, which cause that you know fill fluid of that product to evaporate out, causes measurement errors. And in the dry leg, we see the opposite. We see products sometimes condensing in there, and again, which impacts the readings. So what happens is we configure these DP transmitters to either have entirely filled with product or not filled with product. And if any sort of deviations from that, that impacts the overall measurement error. So not to mention the fact that you have to then maintain these wet and dry legs. So we need to make sure we fill up the wet leg or we need to drain out the dry leg. Plus it also presents many challenges because the process now leaves that vessel to come in contact with your DP transmitter. So there's some safety issues with that, but mainly there's some maintenance issues. And so this is what was traditionally done uh, and is still common today, but not nearly as common as something called capillary and diaphragm seal systems, which we'll talk about in the next video. Should you have any questions about DP level transmitters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.